Cries for help right there from a Capitol Police officer, very hard to hear. Tonight, the Justice Department says a Connecticut man was one of many involved in pinning that officer. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is in the suspect's hometown of Ridgefield tonight with how police tracked him down. Well, Mark and Aaron, the Justice Department called this crime violent, barbaric, and out of control. But this was a crime that was committed for the world to see. And officials went through the video. So combine that with at least one person who knew the suspect since childhood. They found Patrick McCaughey the third. What's your name? Where are you from? An alleged Connecticut connection to the Capitol riots. As rioters pass shields through the crowd on the steps of the Capitol, the U.S. Justice Department says this is Patrick McCaughey the third, a Ridgefield man in the middle of the chaos, preparing to storm the sacred halls. I'm not doing anything. Oh, you are. I'm just a regular person like everybody else here. It's my building. It's our building. Our Moments later, these photos from the Justice Department's affidavit shows McCaughey inside. In fact, officials say he was at the front of the line, pinning D.C. officer Daniel Hodges with a police shield. <laughs> the affidavit says McCaughey told Hodges to, quote, just go home, talk to your buddies and go home. Don't try to use that stick on me. I am not hurting you. In this video, you don't see the man believed to be Makahi clearly, but you can follow the brown sweater he's believed to be wearing. You can see another person rip a gas mask off Officer Hodges. The person with the sweater pulls down on Hodges' face shield, then points at him. According to the affidavit, Makahi tells other officers, quote, Hey you, this guy isn't doing too well. Let this guy through. He's hurt. He's hurt. Let him back. That was one of the uh, three times that day where I thought, well, this might be it. Hodges survived, but as he told Eyewitness News, it wasn't a certainty. The D.C. Police Department then posted these photos specifically looking for suspects involved in nearly crushing Officer Hodges. The affidavit shows a person who knew McCaughey since childhood reached out to the FBI. No answer at McCaughey's Ridgefield home tonight. McCaughey has been charged with assault on an officer, violent entry, civil disorder, and more. He's being held tonight and is expected to appear in a Washington, D.C. court tomorrow. We're here in Ridgefield tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.